one is a Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve this differential equation. So, let's get started. Problem. Solve y cos x plus 1 into dx plus sin x into dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. y cos x plus 1 into dx plus sin x into dy equals to 0. Consider it as equation 1. Which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. By comparing these two we will get m and n where m equals to y cos x plus 1 and n equals to sin x. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So, firstly, we will find partial derivative of m with respect to y this is equal to dou y dou y of m for m equals to y cos x plus 1. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so the term involving x is constant. Not the term. The function involving x is considered as constant. So here cos x is constant and also 1 is also constant. Okay. This is equal to dou y dou y of y cos x plus dou y dou y of 1. This is equals to constant, that is cos x, into partial derivative of y with respect to y, plus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0. This is equals to cos x into, you can write this as dou y by dou y, that is partial derivative of y with respect to y. This is equals to cos x into 1, which is cos x, okay? Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is cos x. Now, we'll find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. This is equals to dou by dou x of n for n equals to sin x. Derivative of sin x is sin x with respect to x is cos x, right? Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to cos x is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, dou m by dou y equals to dou m by dou x. Since dou n by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x, from this we can say that the given differential equation, that is 1 is an exact equation. Okay. Now, we will find the general solution of the given exact equation. This is your m and this is your n. We know that the general solution of exact equation is given by integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to integral that is constant c. So, first we consider integral over x m into dx. This is equals to here we will be integrating m with respect to x treating 
y as constant. So this equals to integral of m y cos x plus 1 into dx. Here y is read as constant, right? This equals to integral y cos x into dx plus integral 1 into dx. Let's write the constant outside the integral. y constant into integral cos x dx. Integral 1 into dx is integral dx. This equals to y into integral cos x dx is sin x plus integral dx is x. So integral m dx will be equals to y sin x plus x. Now let's consider the second integral. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. This equals to you're having n equals to sin x, right? There is no such term which is free from x here. Right? So take it as 0 into dy is equals to 0. Therefore the general solution is the general solution is result obtained from the first integral y sin x plus x plus result obtained from the second integral 0 equals to integral constant c. Then y sin x plus x equals to c is the required general solution. Right? So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.